Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in this quick video, I wanna show you a helpful workaround that solves the issue of not being able to edit the constant contact email subject lines and pre-headers within the automated campaign series. Now, I realize that this may sound like a very specific issue, and it is, but this can be a problem because if you're unable to edit your email's subject lines and pre-headers, then you're essentially sending emails with blank subject lines. This not only looks unprofessional, but it can drastically impact your conversions in a negative way. But I wanna point out that I'm still a huge fan of Constant Contact, and I still highly recommend and use them for professional email marketing services. And if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're already a customer, but if you're not, you can try Constant Contact out for 60 days, no credit card required. Just visit my affiliate link in the video description below, and you can test drive their email marketing platform for two whole months. But as I mentioned earlier, I came across this issue as I was testing and QAing Constant Contact's updated email automation. And as far as I can tell, this workaround that we're gonna cover in this tutorial puts a Band-Aid on the problem and is what their tech support recommends too. Now I did some digging and I found that unfortunately, this has been an ongoing issue for about a year. However, Constant Contact has assured me and additional customers that their engineers are aware of the issue and are working towards prioritizing and fixing the issue. I will say though that as of March 2023, it's still an issue. But hopefully this video will relieve some stress and allow you to do what is intended, which is to edit your email subject lines and pre-headers. And before we get started, if you find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it also allows you to stay up to date with all the WordPress and digital marketing trends that are happening throughout the year. So as always, thank you for your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting out in the campaign section of my Constant Contact account. And I should point out that I'm a Constant Contact core customer using the most updated Chrome browser for this example. Okay, so first, let me show you the issue at hand and then we'll go over how to fix it. There are actually two ways to go about it. We'll cover both. But first, let me show you the issue of not being able to edit the email subject lines and preheaders. All right, so I've already created my email list. So from here, I'm gonna create an automated email series that will send a welcome email as soon as someone fills out my opt-in form and subscribes to my list. So first things first, I'm gonna create a new campaign. So within my campaign section, I'll click the Create button. Then I'll select Email Automation. And then the Welcome Email Templates. And then I'll name my new automated series. And click the Save button. Then I'll keep the trigger type as Welcome Email. And select the list I want to send leads to. And again, you can see the trigger type as Welcome Email and then the list has been selected. And then click the Save button. And this will bring you to the new automated email series. This is where you can build out your campaigns and implement automated emails based on different triggers. It really is a great feature, but this is where I was running into a few issues. So first, I'll select Create New Email. And within the template selector, I was running into my first issue. This one isn't a huge deal, but it does affect the workflow and adds extra clicks in order to select a template. So from here, if I hover my mouse over a template and preview it, we get this beautiful preview. However, within the preview environment, if I try to click the select template button, nothing happens. And unfortunately, I'm unable to select the template from the preview environment. Again, this isn't a huge deal, but it's kind of an inconvenience and adds extra clicks to your workflow. Now, I've notified the engineers about this issue as well, but again, it is a small inconvenience. But either way, I have to close the preview environment and then hover my mouse over the email template thumbnail again and click the select button in order to actually select the welcome email template that I wanna use. Then from here is where I was running into my main issue. So within the welcome email template, there's no way to edit or update the email subject line or preheader. Typically, I would expect to see this within the template. 
has the ability to edit these features within the actual welcome email template. However, back at my initial welcome email template, as you can see, that feature isn't available. And just for the sake of making this a little easier to follow, let me rename this campaign really quick. Then for the sake of time, I'm not gonna edit the content within the email template, but let's say I'm done making my changes to this template. So after I continue, it'll take me back to the automated series. And this is what Constant Contact's tech support instructed me to do as a workaround for the issue. So they instructed me to actually delete this step. So let me do that really quick. I'll click those three dots to open up the additional options and select delete step. Next, I was told to save this email to my campaigns before I delete it. Then head back to my campaigns. And from here, as you can see, I now have the copied welcome email, where this time, when I go to edit it, And again, let me clean up the campaign name just to help us stay organized. Then this time when I click continue, I have the ability to set the subject line, pre-header, physical address, etc. So let me do that really quick. Then I'm going to save my changes here. And head back to my campaigns. Then this time I'll manage my initial email automation series. And add to the series. Then this time instead of create new email, I'll select copy existing email. And I'll copy the welcome email from my campaigns. There we go. Then I'll save it. And then after the copied email has been added to the automated series, I'll select to edit the email. And now I'm able to see and edit the email settings within the welcome email template. That's the first workaround. Again, I know it's not ideal and constant contact is working on the fix, but that's one way to be able to edit your subject lines and pre-headers within the automated welcome email template. The second workaround is to just create the email outside of the automated series initially. And then you'll copy that email within the automated series. And let me walk you through that process now. So let's head back to the automated series by clicking the continue button. And then let's go through the second workaround. All right, in this section of the tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the second workaround for being able to edit your email subject lines and pre-headers within the welcome email template. So I'm currently in the automated campaign series and the initial email that I just created is still listed here. So let me delete that really quick so that we could start from scratch. And this time I'll delete it permanently and click the save button. Then head back to the campaigns. And this time we'll add a brand new email. So click the create button. And then select email from the list. And then this template selector gives you a search field. So within that field, type welcome. And this will allow us to access the same email template that we used during the initial example. Then when I preview this template,
We still get the great preview, but when we click the Select Template button, it works this time. What do you know? Then within this welcome email template, we have the ability to edit the subject line and pre-header. And again, for the sake of keeping things organized and easy to follow, let me edit this campaign name and I'll call it food blog welcome email updated. There we go. Then clicking the email settings link in the upper right corner of the template opens the email settings where you can edit things like the subject line, pre-header, from email address, etc. This is what we would expect to see the first time around in the automated campaign series email builder. But nevertheless, this is the workaround for the time being. Then when you click the continue button, the workflow behaves correctly. You're taken to the email settings and scheduling screen where you can double check and make sure the info is correct as well as determine the list that the email goes to. So let me do that really quick and then click the save button to save your changes. Then head back to the campaigns page. And as you can see, we have the new email that we just created listed here in our campaigns. This is what we're gonna copy in a few moments. All right, so this time let's head back to the automated series and click the manage button. Then I want to add to this series, so I'll select that. And again, instead of create a new email, you'll select copy existing email. And then select copy from existing campaigns, and you'll want to select the updated email that we just created. And there it is. Then click the save button. And once again, now when you go to edit this email, you have the ability to edit the email settings, subject line, and pre-header. So I know that that may seem like a lot of extra work in order to be able to edit the email settings within the automated campaign series, but hopefully this tutorial helped clear some things up and it made your life a little easier until Constant Contact's engineers are able to resolve the issue. And I'll be sure to keep an eye on this and we'll definitely give you an update in the comments when the issue has been fixed. In the meantime though, use these workarounds so that you can craft your automated email subject lines and pre-headers. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, now that you've started your blog, Check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll help you grow your audience and earn a passive income with your blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.